Welcome back to my studio. I'm working on uh, my 100 paintings challenge that I set up for myself. What was I thinking? So yeah, I've been doing this 100 paintings challenge and for this last set, I decided to focus on abstract human figures. I'm gonna walk through probably in a more general sense, you know, why I'm doing abstract painting overall, um, why I chose to do these figures. These are things that I think about when I'm painting and I struggle with, honestly, as an artist. You know, I haven't established myself in a way where I'm, you know, I have an audience, I have a market, um, creating, you know, this stuff I'm making, I'm making for myself and uh, I'm driven to, to do that. So I'm not trying to create things necessarily to sell them. I'm going to make them available because I think there is some interest for them, but yeah, I'd paint these either way. Uh, these are things that I'm, I'm going to be working on no matter what, whether they're going to sell or not. But if it's not for money, what, you know, why do I do this? And, I, you know, again, I ask myself this a lot for whatever reason. It comes up in my mind, you know, why, why do I create these things? Why am I trying to make art? I think the most obvious answer for me is it's an escape. You know, it allows me to use a part of my brain maybe that is less logical and, and sort of dive a little deeper into more of a meditative, trance-like state, I, I guess you could say. So in that way, it's, it's, it's rewarding. It feels good. You know, and there's plenty to escape from. <laughs> you know, there's lots of other ways to escape. So for me, you know, art is, is a very positive, enriching way to escape, you know, or at least get away a little bit, you know, get away from stress, right? Get away from stress, get away from things that can be overwhelming at times. That's where I sit with, you know, why I'm doing this um, in general. So why abstract again? And I ask this question to myself often, uh, maybe over time this answer will change. But for now, you know, I do paint and dabble in realistic painting occasionally, but it's never been something that I'm super interested in. And I think for me, you know, if I know what the destination is, so if I know where I'm going, it makes it less interesting for me personally. You know, it would be impressive to do a realistic painting or drawing and have it turn out you know, to look anything like reality. I think that is impressive. I see other artists doing it and that, that impresses me. But I also think that I lose interest myself if, I'm, if I know where the destination is, right? And the abstract stuff for me is more about discovery and exploring and sort of uncovering, being intuitive, uh, using my intuition. It's a very primal sort of raw experience where you know, I don't know where these things are coming from. Someone may look at this stuff and say, well, that, that's total crap. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I think it's just garbage. And that, that's fine. It, I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, I actually want it to look childlike. You know, I want to, I want to approach it uh, like a beginner. I want this stuff to sort of just unfold and come from my subconscious. It, this isn't logical. You know, there's not a ton of analytic thinking here you know although i am you know thinking about colors and thinking about marks and putting marks down on the paper and then reacting to them i'm also trying to just be free and and explore if that makes any sense you know it's also the imagery that is created for me uh like i said it's it's raw it's primal to me, but it also leaves some room for interpretation. You know, art is subjective for sure, but when you create an image that's a little more open for, even more open for interpretation, I think that it's more meaningful and, and thought provoking. You know, it's suggestive. You know, each viewer is going to see something different. You know, if I paint an exact copy of a strawberry, uh, there's not a lot of room for interpretation. You know, someone looks at that and goes, okay, cool, it's a strawberry, uh, however well executed it is. Uh, but these things are a little bit different. You know, someone might look at this and, and see a conversation. You know, as I'm painting some of these figures, I'm, I'm even imagining in my, in my mind, you know, what are they saying to each other? This type of art is certainly not for everyone. I'm not sure why I'm defending it. To be honest, I don't really create it for anyone but myself. 
Um, I'm happy when other people react to it. I'm happy when other people find interest in it. I'm, you know, it's exciting and encouraging when someone sees it, sees my art, sees these things and, and has a positive reaction. You know, it makes me proud. Um, it gets me excited to continue. I enjoy when someone appreciates it. But I'm, I don't know, I'm on, a, I'm on a sort of a lifelong journey to, to discover meaning and truth for me through art and this is just where I am at this stage and and what I'm doing and you know but I am interested to hear if people see something positive have ideas about where they think I should take this I'm open to hear those things and and happy to continue to explore different avenues so yeah if you see something you like or you're interested in let me know in the comments I'd really appreciate it and uh, we'll see what we go where we go from here so having just gone off on that rant about not making money or not doing this for money, uh, I am going to have these for sale. So I'm going to put these on my Etsy shop. And for anyone who really wants one and is a subscriber or watches this video and wants to pick one of these up, I'm going to create a coupon code that will essentially cut the price down. The code is going to be uppercase YT100. You know, you can, you can pick up one of these fairly cheaply. So I'm going to um, pick maybe my top 20 or 30 or so. And hopefully by the time this video is finished, uh, edited, uploaded, um, they, will, they will be available on my Etsy shop. And I'll put a link in the description um, to go check them out. I guess if you've seen any in previous videos that you really liked that I didn't post on Etsy, Hit me up in the comments, let me know, and I will, uh, I will try to make those available if there's something specific you like. Cool. Thanks.